Hey, welcome back to the Exploring Yogini. I am Jenna. I'm your yoga teacher for today. Today's class is yoga for small spaces. This is perfect for RVers or travelers who are staying in small quarters like a hostel or an Airbnb. But before we get started, hit subscribe right there and then hit the bell. The bell is just going to let you know when I have new sequences or yoga talks and other videos. All right, let's get started. Today we'll start on our back. Come to lie down on your back. Extend your left leg out long and then reach your right heel up towards the sky for a hamstring stretch. While your hands are guiding your right thigh closer to your body, you'll feel a nice stretch along the back of your hamstring and even into your glutes. If at any point it's painful, just ease up. Bring your leg back a little bit. While you're holding the static stretch, breathe. Maybe close down your eyes so you can turn inward. Creating that audible quality to your breath. Supine pigeon, bend your left knee, and then bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Extend your left heel up and away, reaching your left heel up towards the sky. Interlace your palms behind your left leg while your shoulders are relaxed towards the ground. Flexing all 10 toes. Bring your left heel back down to the ground and unwind both heels rooted firmly underneath you. Extend your right leg and then hamstring stretch on the left side. Your left heel reaches up towards the ceiling. Interlace your palms behind your left leg and gently guide your left thigh closer towards your belly. Hear your breath. Feel it in your body. Bend your right knee, supine pigeon, left ankle on top of your right thigh. Extend your right heel up towards the ceiling, wrapping your hands around your right hamstring. Moving with intention. Allow your thoughts to have purpose here. Focus them on your breath. Creating a mind-body connection here. It's all up to you. It's all in your control. Bring your right heel back down to the earth. Now we'll go to tabletop position. Picking yourself up off the earth. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We'll do cat cow. Starting with cow pose, belly down, reach your gaze up. And exhale, cat pose, rounding your spine. Push the earth away from you. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. And exhale, unwind. Do this on your own time, moving as fast or as slowly as you'd like. Connecting with your body through this movement. Come back to a neutral spine. Plant your palms shoulder width distance at the top of your mat. Curl your back toes underneath and then hover your knees away from the mat. Now push your shoulders back towards your thighs and engage your core. Feel your entire body light up here, holding 
your knees hovering. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to the shakes. And exhale, expand, downward facing dog. Your palms are rooted into the earth and your feet are hip width distance. Pick your dog on a walk by picking one heel up and dropping the opposite, shaking your head from side to side. We'll begin with our sun A. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms on your shins. Reach your shoulder blades down and back so that there's a lot of space in between your ears and shoulder blades. Inhale, engage your belly. And exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, touch the earth. Inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling so that you make a long line. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders down and back. And exhale, plant your palms. Chaturanga Dandasana. Coming up onto your tiptoes, bringing your shoulders forward. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tops of thighs away from the mat. And downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, engage your core. And then fold forward, relax your neck. Inhale, reaching up, up, and away. And then bowing down, touch the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana, coming up onto your tiptoes. Bending your elbows in towards your ribs. Upward facing dog, heart is open. And downward facing dog. One more time, look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching up and away. And then bringing it back down to the earth. Forward fold. Halfway lift. And then plant your palms high to low push up. Bringing the fire here, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Take a big breath together. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, let it go. Bring your right heel to the top of your mat so that your knee is directly over your ankle. Crescent lunge, use your core and lift your palms up to the sun. Reach your back heel towards the back of the room and then engage both glutes. That's gonna help protect your lower spine and keep your hip points in one line. Inhale, lifting up, up and away. And then warrior two, drop your back heel towards the earth. And then your front heel makes a line to the inner back arch. Reaching in opposite directions with your palms. Inhale and exhale. Big breath in and let it go. Extended side angle, reach your right hand forward, tick-tock your arms and reach your left hand up to the sun. Keeping a nice bend in your front knee. Look down at your mat, plant your palms, high to low push-up. Bring your chest forward, bend your elbows, upward facing dog, tops of feet on the mat, and downward dog. Step your left heel forward, low lunge. Stack your knee on top of your left ankle. Using your core, come up. Reaching your palms to the sun. Engage your back leg and reach your heel behind you. Warrior two. Back heel spins down. And then bring your front heel 
to in line to meet your back arch. Warrior two, settling in deep into your front knee while expanding in opposite directions with your palms. Extended side angle, left hand comes forward, reach your right arm up and away. Inhale, look down. Exhale, plant your palms. High to low push up. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Shake your head from side to side. Then look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. Both feet come together. Halfway lift and fold forward. Inhale, reach your fingertips up and away. For our first balancing posture, figure four. Palms in front of your heart. Come to stand on your left leg while you reach your right thigh parallel to the ground. Right ankle to that left thigh. Sit down and back. It's okay if you wobble. That is totally normal. Flex your toes in your right foot to protect your right knee. listen to your breath that intentional flow of energy moving throughout your body creating space and clarity creating calmness and awareness throughout your entire being coming up to stand one-legged tadasana right heel reaches up off the ground airplane pose kick your right heel behind you Hinge your chest forward, and then bring your palms face down next to your hips. You're flying. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Right thigh comes parallel to the ground. Reach your palms up and away, and then step down. Move your hips your ankles, get the blood flowing in your body again. That's a long time to be balancing on one foot. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Reach your palms up to the sun, one-legged Tadasana. Bring your left heel parallel to the earth, hovering it in space, figure four. Palms in front of your heart, left ankle onto the front of your right thigh. Sit down low. Flex your toes in your left foot while reaching your bum down towards the earth as much as it feels comfortable. Engage your core and breathe. Here you can feel your left glute stretching open. I don't know about you, but it feels really, really good for me. After being in tight quarters, traveling, and spending so much time on airplanes, sitting and waiting. Come up to one-legged Tadasana. Left thigh parallel to the earth. And then hinge forward, airplane pose. Kick your left heel behind you. Activate both glutes while you reach your palms behind you, making a big capital T shape. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Bring your thigh parallel to the ground and step it down. Come to stand at the top of your mat. Reach your fingertips up and bow down. Inhale, halfway lift, and then plant your palms into the earth. Step it back, high plank pose. Come down to your knees, so gently bring your knees underneath you. And then on the count of five, we're gonna lower our chest down to the ground. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your chin to center. Tops of feet on the mat, 
reach your palms back behind you and interlace them above your hips. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, locust pose. Reach your feet up off the ground and your palms behind you. Gaze is directly down at your mat. Feel the soft part of your belly rooted underneath you while the rest of you flies. One more inhale and exhale, let go. Your head, your palms and your feet come down to the mat. Bring your chin back to center. Extend your arms out long in front of you for Superman pose. Inhale, your feet up off the ground. Exhale, your arms follow. Everything is balancing on that soft part of your belly while we strengthen every muscle in our back body. Inhale and exhale. One more breath in and exhale, unwind. Opposite cheek plants, palms next to your hips. Relax the muscles in your legs. Roll over onto your back. Bridge pose. Plant your feet underneath your knees. Engage your core and lift your hips up off the mat. You're engaging your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, and then interlace your palms underneath your hips so that your palms are on the ground and walk up onto your shoulder blades bringing your shoulders underneath your body, lifting everything up, tuck your chin and fly. Reaching up just a little bit more and then release, bringing your hips down to the ground for Supta Baddha Konasana soles of your feet come together your knees are out wide one hand on your belly one hand on your heart we just spent some time moving with intention unwinding connecting to ourselves feel the space that you've created in your body and in your mind. Recognizing that these feelings are accessible to you whenever you choose. Bring your knees together. Come up to a seated position. Hey Yoginis, friends Jenna here from the beautiful Auckland in New Zealand. I apologize for that abrupt ending to our yoga video. My camera has been overheating and shutting down after like 20 minutes of recording. But before you go, make sure you hit like and hit subscribe. And then leave any comments if you have any questions. Did you love that yoga sequence, yoga for small spaces? Or do you have a, a recommendation for a different type of yoga sequence? Just let me know. I would love to make one based on what you have to say. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and we'll see each other again soon. Ciao.